Hi, and welcome to our new tutorial. Today we will be having a look at how you can deploy VLC Media Player with the help of Microsoft Intune. We will show you step by step how you download, create, and deploy VLC. If you want to read about the deployment, you can also check the blog post. There you will find more information and you can copy, for example, commands directly from that website. You also find the latest blog post from us with helpful information. The website is also in the description. But now let's start with deploying VLC Media Player. We will start by downloading the latest VLC Media Player application. Go to the website shown in the video. Now click on download VLC or choose your version you want to download. This might take a while, but after the download, you should have a new file in your download folder. We will use this later. We can close the browser for now. The next step will be to create two new folders on your C drive. Navigate to C. We will need to create two folders. First one is called Deploy VLC. Click on New and create a new folder as shown in the video. Again, and name it Output. You have now two folders. Navigate into the Deploy VLC folder. We will need to copy the downloaded executable into this folder. Perfect. The next step will be to download the Intune Win App tool. We can close the Explorer for now. Open a browser and search for Intune Win App tool. We need the first GitHub link, so you might need to scroll down a little. There it is. This is an official Microsoft tool, so you don't need to worry about downloading a virus. Click on the Intune Win App Util exe file as shown in the video, and then click on the download icon on the right side. This will download the application. You now have the WinApp tool in your downloads folder. Open it. We will now need to specify some parameters. First one will be the folder path where the executable is stored. Go to the folder deploy VLC and copy the path into the command prompt. Now we need to copy the file name inside this folder. Don't forget to add exe on the end if it is not already. Now enter the path of the output folder which we have created on the beginning. Last enter and to complete. It will now create the Intunwin file. This can take a while. Just wait until the command prompt closes. Perfect. You now have a new file in your output folder. We will need this in the next step. The next step will be to log in into the Intune portal. We will then create a new application with the created Intunwin file. Log in with your admin. I will speed up the process. When you are logged in into the Microsoft Intune portal, navigate to Apps and Windows. Select the app type as Windows App, Win32. Click on Add. Click on Select. Click on Select File and choose the new created Intune Win file in your output folder. Click on OK. Now you can edit the app information. I will just edit the important ones. But don't forget to enter a publisher. If you think you have edited it all, you can click on Next. On the Program tab, we will need to enter the Install and Uninstall commands. Just follow the video. We will first need to copy the file name from the VLC executable in the Deploy VLC folder. Navigate and copy the name. Paste it in the Install command and don't forget to add the .exe ending if not already. For the Uninstall command, write the following as shown in the video. I will just copy it from the blog post. You can stop the video if you need some more time. Visit the blog post and find helpful information to copy the parameters directly. The link is in the description. Make sure that the install behavior is set to system. Then you can click on Next. On the Requirements tab, choose the Operating System Architecture and the Operating System. For the Detection Rule, choose Manually Configure Detection Rules. 
Click on Add. Choose Rule Type to File and enter the path shown in the video. The path is the installation folder where the application will be installed on the devices. This will check after installation if the application is correctly installed. For the file or folder enter VLC, EXE is shown in the video. Detection method choose, file or folder exists and click on OK. Define your dependencies if you want and click on Next. Define your supersedence if you want and click on Next. On the assignment, assign the application to a group or all users, all devices. It does not matter if the application is assigned to a user or a device. The application will now be created. This can take a while. On the end, you will see a pop-up on the right top corner. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We hope you found this guide useful and easy to follow. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below or visit our blog post in the description. See you soon.